question for this video is copy and complete the table below for the relation y is equal to s squared minus 5x plus 3. So you have been given this table with x values ranging from minus 2 to 5. So you will substitute each one of these x values into the relation to get its corresponding y value. The b part of the question says that using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis, draw the graph of the relation y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. Then the C part says that from your graph, find i, the truth set of x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. i, i, the least value for the graph of the relation y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. And i, 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 the gradient of the curve at x is equal to minus 1. So let's start with the first one. Copy and complete the table below for the relation y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. As I've already said, it means that we will substitute each one of these x values into the relation to get its corresponding y value. So let's begin with that. The relation is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. The first x value in the table is minus 2. So we are going to find y when x is equal to minus 2. It means that you substitute x is equal to minus 2 into this relation. We will have y is equal to, we have x squared here, so we have minus 2 squared, we have minus 5 x, so minus 5 times minus 2, then plus 3. Don't forget that whenever you are squaring a negative number, you have to put the negative number in a bracket. So we have y is equal to minus 2 squared, minus 5s times minus 2 plus 3. This will give us 4 plus 10 plus 3, which is 17. So when x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 17. Let's put that in the table. So when x is minus 2, y is 17. The next x value is minus 1. So you will find y when x is equal to minus 1. Once again, don't forget to Put the negative number in a bracket when you are squaring it. So y is equal to minus 1 squared minus 5x times minus 1 plus 3. This will give us 1 plus 5 plus 3, which is 9. So when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 9. The next x value in the table is 0. When x is equal to 0, y will be equal to 0 squared minus 5 times 0 plus 3. 0 is not a negative number, so you can choose to put it in a bracket or not. So y is equal to 0 squared minus 5 times 0 plus 3. This will give us 0 minus 0 plus 3. And 0 minus 0 plus 3 will give us 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. The next x value in the table is 1. When x is equal to 1, y will be equal to 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 3. This will give us 1 minus 5 plus 3. And 1 minus 5 plus 3 will give us minus 1. So when x is 1, y is minus 1. The next x value in the table is 2. When x is equal to 2, y will be equal to 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 3. This will give us 4 minus 10 plus 3. And 4 minus 10 plus 3 will give us minus 3. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 3. The next x value we have is 3. When x is equal to 3, y will be equal to 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 3. And this will give us 9 minus 15 plus 3. 9 minus 15 plus 3 will give us minus 3. So when x is 3, y is also minus 3. The next x value is 4. When x is equal to 4, y will be equal to 4 squared minus 5 times 4 plus 3. 4 squared minus 5 times 4 plus 3 will give us 16 minus 20 plus 3. 
and 16 minus 20 plus they will give us minus 1 so when x is 4 y is equal to minus 1 the last x value is 5 when x is equal to 5 y will be equal to 5 squared minus 5 times 5 plus 3 5 squared will give us 25 minus 5 times 5 will give us minus 25 so we have 25 minus 25 plus 3 25 minus 25 is 0 so you have 0 plus 3 which is 3 so when x is equal to 5 y is equal to 3 so we have now completed the table for the relation y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. The question said that we should use a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x-axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y-axis to draw the graph of this relation on a graph sheet. So let's do that. This is our graph sheet and these are the points that we are going to plot on the graph sheet. The question said we should use a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x-axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y-axis. Considering the set of x values that I have, I will choose this vertical major grid line as my y-axis. And considering the set of y values that I have, I will choose this horizontal major grid line as my x-axis. Now, let's use the scale given to us to number the x and y-axis. On the x-axis, we are using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit. This is the origin, so here will be 0. Then we will have minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the y-axis, we are using a scale of 2 cm to 2 units. Here is the origin, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And on the negative side, we have minus 2, minus 4. Now, we can plot our points on this graph sheet. The first point is minus 2, 17. So minus 2 on the x-axis and 17 on the y-axis. 17 will be between 16 and 18. So we have the point minus 2, 17 here. The next one is minus 1, 9. So minus 1 on the x-axis and 9 on the y-axis. 9 will be between 8 and 10. So we have the point minus 1, 9. The next one is 0, 3. So 0 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. 3 will be between 2 and 4. So we have the point 0, 3 here. The next one is 1, minus 1. So 1 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. Minus 1 will be between 0 and minus 2. So we have the point 1, minus 1 here. The next one is 2 minus 3, 2 on the x-axis and minus 3 on the y-axis, which will be between minus 2 and minus 4. So 2 minus 3, we have that point here. The next one is 3 minus 3, 3 on the x-axis and minus 3 on the y-axis. So we have the point 3 minus 3 here. The next one is 4 minus 1, so 4 on the x-axis minus 1 on the y-axis we have that point here 4 minus 1 and the last one is 5 3 so 5 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis 3 is between 2 and 4 so we have the point 5 3 here after plotting the points you join them with a free hand to get the graph of the relation y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3 the C part of the question says that we should use the graph to find I, the truth set of x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. I, I, the least value for the graph of the relation y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. And I, 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 the gradient of the curve at x is equal to minus 1. The truth set of the equation x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. So the function that we have drawn on the graph sheet is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 3. We can see that we got this equation by equating the function to 0. So if you equate this function to 0, you are going to have the equation x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. The solution of this equation will be the x-intercepts. 
that is the x coordinates at the points where the curve cuts the x axis on this graph the curve cuts or intercepts the x axis at this point and this point so the solution of this quadratic equation will be the s coordinate here and the s coordinate here on my graph sheet the s coordinate of this point is 0 0.7 and the s coordinate of this point is 4.3 so the solution of this quadratic equation is x is equal to 0 0.7 or 4.3 but the question said we should write our answer as a truth set so we will say that from the graph the truth set of the equation s squared minus 5s plus 3 is equal to 0 is s is such that x is equal to 0 0.7 or 4.3 let's go on to the next question find the minimum value of y is equal to s squared minus 5s plus 3 the minimum value of the function will occur at the turning point the turning point is the point where the curve turns so on this graph sheet the turning point is at this point this is the point where the curve turns the minimum value of the function will be the y coordinate of the turning point so to find the minimum value of this function you first locate the turning point just as we have done here then we will trace it to the y axis to get the y coordinate on my graph sheet the y coordinate of the turning point here is minus 3.4 so from the graph the minimum value of the function y is equal to s squared minus 5s plus 3 is minus 3.4 let's go on to the last part of the question we say that we should find the gradient of the function at x is equal to minus 1 if you want to use the graph of a quadratic function to find the gradient of the function at a point on the curve the first thing you have to do is to locate that point on the curve so here we are going to find the gradient at x is equal to minus 1 so we have to locate the point x is equal to minus 1 on the curve. So we will go to the x axis and we will locate minus 1, which is at this point. We can see that minus 1 does not fall on the curve. So we have to trace it to the curve. So you trace minus 1 to the curve and it will fall on this point. So at this point on the curve, x is equal to minus 1. After you have located the point on the curve, you draw a tangent to the curve through the point. The tangent is a straight line drawn to touch the curve through the point. So the tangent to the curve through this point is the straight line drawn to touch the curve through the point. After you have drawn the tangent to the curve through the point, you will then find the gradient of the tangent. The tangent is a straight line and we already know how to find the gradient of a straight line. We will choose two points that fall on the line and then use the formula gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 to find the gradient. So let's do that. I'm going to choose this point here as my first point. Then I'll choose this one as my second point. You have to find the coordinates of these points. So you trace it to the x axis to get the x coordinate, which is minus 2 here. You trace it to the y axis to get the y coordinate, which is 16. So the coordinates of this point is minus 2, 16. You do the same thing here. We can see that this point falls on the y axis. It means that the x coordinate is 0. The y coordinate here is 2. So the coordinates of this point is the x coordinate, which is 0, and the y coordinate, which is 2. So we now have two points that fall on the tangent, 0, 2, and minus 2, 16. Using the formula gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, we can find the gradient of the tangent. I'm going to use 0, 2 as my x1, y1. Then I'll use minus 2, 16 as my x2, y2. So we now have x1, y1, x2, y2. You substitute them into this formula to get the gradient of the tangent at the point x is equal to minus 2. You have y2, which is 16, minus y1, which is 2, divided by x2, which is minus 2, 
minus x1, which is 0. 16 minus 2 divided by minus 2 minus 0 will give us minus 7. So it means that the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point x is equal to minus 1 is minus 7. The gradient of a tangent to the curve at a point is the same as the gradient of the function at that point. So the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point x is equal to minus 1 is the same as the gradient of the function at the point x is equal to minus 1. So we can say that from the graph, the gradient of the curve at the point x is equal to minus 1 is minus 7.